good morning student in a previous lecture we had discussed about the preparation of ammonia so today again we discuss about the ammonia ammonia in the last lecture we have discussed the preparation of ammonia but most important part today we will discuss like the industrial preparation first one industrial preparation and this process is called haber process haber process this is called haber process in this process we can prepare ammonia by reacting between n2 gas with H two gas, we will get N S three. But we require some condition. We'll take the one volume of nitrogen and three part of the hydrogen. Then we will get the ammonia gas. Just balance it. Here two nitrogen is there. By putting two, you will get two N S three. Means one part is nitrogen and three part of hydrogen gas combined chemically form ammonia. And you know that it is a reversible process. And condition is that temperature must be five hundred degrees Celsius and pressure should be maintained to. 200 to 900 pressure atm pressure this is a condition and also we need to have some catalyst like fe or fe2o3 this thing we require for the preparation of ammonia and this is called industrial preparation or haber process so we will discuss about the this process by explaining the figure in your examination it may be asked explain the preparation of ammonia by the haber process so first what we will do we will take a equipment just i am going to give you short note on that this is a chamber first chamber Here chamber has two inlet, inlet A and inlet B. This chamber has two inlet, inlet A, inlet B. This is called compression. And here from one chamber, wait, and this chamber is. Further attached with the next chamber. This is called cathode lactic chamber. And further, this chamber will end in, into the last chamber. And this chamber is called cooling chamber. And this chamber has one outlet. From this outlet, we'll take the N two gas, uh, ammonia gas. So how how we will do that? First, we'll take the 
from this inlet suppose i am taking the number a and putting the name b from a we will take nitrogen gas one part of nitrogen gas and you know that we need to take we have to take pure nitrogen gas otherwise it may contain lots of impurities then reaction will not be possible to produce the ammonia it also decrease the efficiency of catalyst it will behave as a poison so we'll take the nitrogen and you know the pure nitrogen we can get by fractional distillation we can get the by the fractional distillation and the, from the second chamber we will take h2 gas three part of h2 gas and we know uh, we know that h2 gas can be prepared by bose process bose process in this process how we will get we will take the water gas cu h2o this gas must be react with water we will get carbon dioxide and we will get the 2h2 gas and in this process we will get the pure gas and that gas is supplied through the inlet b in this chamber this chamber is known as a compression so in this way we can get the pure hydrogen by the bose process and by the fractional distillation from the atmosphere we will get the pure nitrogen and these two gases must be taken inside the this chamber and here should be pressure must be maintained between 200 to 900 atm pressure then this gas must be passed through this path into this chamber and this chamber will contain catalyst and what catalyst will be there either you will take fe or fe 2o3 this is the catalyst and you know that to increase the efficiency of catalyst we will use a uh, some promoter actually there are two things promoter and poison the poisons are those thing which decrease the efficiency of catalyst that is called poison that's why we have taken the pure gas and we got the hydrogen by the bose process and the pure nitrogen by the fractional distillation otherwise it may contain lots of impurities and that will behave as a poison means that will decrease the efficiency of catalyst that's why we have to take the what pure nitrogen and hydrogen and we have taken the catalyst and for the increase the efficiency of catalyst we will use some promoter and promoter is that molybdenum and we can take Al2O3. Just note down your copy. These are the promoter which increase the efficiency of catalyst. Then after the compression, here compression. Why we need to compress the N2 gas and H2 gas to bring it closer to each other. Once they will be bring, they will be brought. near to each other once they come closer to each other what will happen reaction will be happen and it will perform what will form and this three gas will form that's why we maintain the pressure here to bring it bring them closer and once they come closer what form ammonia gas and along with we also get 
N2 gas and S2 gas. Both gas. Again, we will get along with the ammonia. So here we are getting what? Three gases. Mixture of ammonia. Ammonia we are getting. Gas of nitrogen and gas of hydrogen. Then we need to have separate these gases because we are preparing only the what gas? Ammonia. So we need to remove these hydrogen gas and nitrogen gas. Then these gases must be passed through this chamber into this chamber and in this chamber we will get what? The mixture of NS3, the mixture of N2, the mixture of H2. And this is called cooling chamber. Means we just the temperature of this chamber must be maintained minus 33 degrees Celsius because at this temperature, because at this temperature, Ammonia will be liquefied. It will change into the liquid. Whereas nitrogen and hydrogen require high, much more lower temperature than the ammonia gas. Approx, hydrogen require minus 250 degrees Celsius, 256. And it require approx 196 degree Celsius 190 across 190 degree Celsius required for the nitrogen and for hydrogen required 256 degree minus 256 degree Celsius at this temperature they will be liquefied so we have to do to maintain only minus 3 33 degree Celsius that's why it is called cooling chamber what will happen we will get liquid Ammonia only. We will get the liquid ammonia. We will get only liquid ammonia. What is liquid ammonia? It is a state change. Gas will change into the liquid by applying pressure and lowering temperature. Liquid. It doesn't mean that the equal solution. That is a different thing. When ammonia will dissolve in water, that is called equal solution. It is a liquid state. Means we apply the pressure, we have pressure already we have discussed. Yet temperature must be maintained minus 23 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, ammonia will change into the liquid. And that liquid must be collected through this outlet. And we will get NS3 liquid form. NS3 liquid form, ammonia liquid. And again, this mixture of N2 gas and S2 gas again must be sent to the this chamber. Must be sent to the this chamber. Means again the mixture of N2 gas and S2 gas must be sent to the first chamber and again these gases pushed through the compression from the first chamber to the second chamber and again reaction will take place and we will get the ammonia and then this mixture must be passed to the third chamber and then by the apply by lowering the temperature by high pressure we will get the liquid ammonia so by this way we can prepare the ammonia by the Haber process and this is called industrial preparation of ammonia. So we have discussed the preparation of ammonia from the metal carbide, from the ammonium salt reacting with the hydroxide, calcium hydroxide. So we have discussed. Now we will talk about the physical properties of ammonia. Now we will talk about the physical properties of ammonia. First one, it is a colorless and fungal smell gas. Its a vapor density is 8.5, taste in bitter. It has bitter taste, 
Vapor density is what? 8.5 and it is a colorless gas. So now, second, uh, next physical property, we will talk about solubility. Solubility. Actually, we have discussed in the last lesson also solubility and the nature. It is a basic in nature. So both things, solubility as well as basic nature, basic nature, we will discuss by fountain experiment. Fountain experiment we will discuss. So what we will do? We will take the one stand like this. That with the help of this stand, we take one round bottle, bottom flask. And both its in is fitted with the cork, and it must be fitted with the one dropper like this. One dropper, and it has the structure like this. You will have, and one glass tube will pass through the cork and dip into the one beaker that beaker will contain this beaker will contain what red litmus because red litmus is used to identify the basic character of the substances so now what we will do This is the tube coming in the. We know that there is an atmospheric pressure. Some atmospheric pressure is there. 1 atm. 1 atm of pressure means 760 mm of Hg. Pressure is there. Then, here, what is there? Here is some. Gases are there. What gases? NS3. NS3 gases molecule are there. When we squeeze the water drop, this dropper contain water. When we squeeze this dropper, water will come out. And you know that when water will come out from this dropper. NS3 is a highly soluble and it will dissolve in this water in this water and what will happen they start accumulating at the bottom of the round bottom flask then in the form of liquid it is called aqueous solution of ammonia what will happen once the gas molecule ammonia gas molecule will dissolve in water what will happen? Low pressure will be created. Low pressure will be there. And here is a high pressure because of 118 pressure is there. Then water, that red litmus, start moving inside the tube. And that red litmus will come out through this water tube. And this react with the liquid uh, aqueous solution of ammonia and turn to blue it turn to blue we know that when base react with lead litmus it become blue and blue color indicates that ammonia is a basic in nature as well as by this experiment we can conclude it is a highly soluble in water it is a highly soluble in water and i think uh, and the second one is that you can just conclude that highly soluble in water and it is a basic in nature. Now, 
you know that one if you take the one volume of the water then 700 volumes of ammonia gas can be dissolved one is to 700 means solubility of nh3 is very high so this is called fountain experiment now next we will talk about the chemical properties chemical properties first we we'll talk about burning burning of ammonia you know that it is a non combustible it does not support in burning and it does not burn itself means it cannot burn but we will take the one we can explain with the one experiment we will take one glass beaker like this and it has two must have two layer it is a, with the make the layer with the cotton and one tube must be inserted like this and one tube will come here from through the first tube we will supply NH3 and from the second tube we will supply O2 gas from this tube what will happen O2 will get O2 will come and here what will come NH3 and next we will come. If we bring burning thing, either candle, burning candle, burning matchstick, it will not burn. But because of supply of oxygen, it is start burning. It is burn. It it does not help in the burning of candle, but the supply of oxygen burning process will take place of ammonia and you know that what will form when ammonia when ammonia burn ammonia is burned in the presence of oxygen then it is a formula of ammonia it is burned in the oxygen you will get nitrogen gas and plus water molecule and water molecule here what will happen you can balance it 2 and 2 is there then by putting 4 and uh, putting here 2 4 2 is your 2 you will put there 2 here then three, uh, 4 is 12 6 and here what is that? 3. You will the balance equation and you will get nitrogen gas, the burning of ammonia. And you know that what color will you observe? You will observe yellowish green color. Yellowish green means burning of ammonia in the presence of oxygen you will get nitrogen gas and water molecule and this is the one experiment we have also another experiment this is called this burning will happen in the presence of catalyst so you will take first one chamber like this and that chamber have some catalyst this catalyst is called platinum this catalyst is called platinum and through one this is a tube one or inlet inlet two through one chamber we supply ns3 and from another chamber we supply oxygen 
and temperature must be high your temperature should be maintained approx 700 degrees Celsius to 800 degrees Celsius then it is burned and once it is burned form one gas nitric oxide what we will get nitric oxide we will get nitric oxide now first equation what is that when ns3 is burned in the presence of oxygen with the help of catalyst with the help of catalyst we will get nitric nitric acid four molecule of nitric acid and water molecule you will get the six molecule of water molecule balance it four you have to put the four here and then six water molecule is there how many oxygen four and six ten means you have to put the five water molecule four six ten yes five you will get the balance equation in this process the burning of ammonia it happened in two step first step you will get the nitric oxide and then this nitric oxide is passed in one flask one flask and that flask contain o2 gas and already we are getting nitric gas nitric oxide nitric oxide gas nitric oxide then what we will get after the reaction between the first step nitric oxide react with oxygen what we will get we will get 2 and not 2 nitrogen dioxide gas and here what happened you will get red brown color so first experiment we have discussed common experiment second burning it does not tell in burning or not it get burned itself but once it is burned burned in the presence of oxygen in the first process we will get what nitrogen gas but if this process is done in the presence of catalyst what catalyst platinum temperature at high temperature first step we will get the nitric oxide and then further after reacting between nitric oxide and oxygen we will get the nitrogen dioxide and it becomes the brown color so this is called the burning of ammonia and this is formed an experiment now some other chemical reaction we will discuss uh, we will talk about some chemical properties chemical properties already we have discussed many chemical properties and we know that NH3 is a basic nature according to Lewis because it has one lone pair electron and already we have discussed in the previous lecture according to Lewis concept it is a base but once you bring the litmus paper it will not show any acidic character means in a dry form it does not show the any acidic character on litmus paper once you dissolve in water you will get ammonium hydroxide and then it will behave as a base because ammonium hydroxide on dissociation it will give NH4 plus and hydroxide and we know that bases are those substances which give hydroxide ion on dissociation and this way they can show the basic character so first we will talk about the basic nature so we know that whenever acid react with base what they are getting salt plus water salt plus water 
we know that whenever we say we are doing base, we will get the salt and water. Let's suppose we take the ammonia NH3, and you can take any acid. Suppose you will take HCl. What will you get? Salt definitely will get salt, and let's four Cl. But you will not get water because oxygen molecule is not there. They will not get the water. Similarly, if you take NH3 and will react with sulfuric acid. Because it is base, basic nature, it is a acid. What will you get? And next four, four twice as of four, you will get the ammonium sulfate, but you will not get water. So this is the basic character. It doesn't mean that you will get the water molecule also because you cannot get the water molecule in this case because it does not have oxygen. But once it is dissolving water, what we will get? Ammonium hydroxide and then ammonium hydroxide react with acid. So what HCl? What we will get? You will get salt and H4Cl and you will get the water. So in the equal solution of ammonia, you will get salt and water. Similarly, if we take NH4OH and it will react with H2SO4, what we will get? NH4 over twice SO4 plus water molecule. So in this case, you will get the salt plus water. When you will get the salt plus water, the equal solution of ammonia. And equal solution of ammonia is called ammonium hydroxide. So these are the reactions. Now, next property we will talk.